Oldest and largest festival making its long awaited return today. Yeah, I can't corner Kona Ipa days being celebrated downtown. And John Hopperstadt is there with the festivities getting underway this morning. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. Yeah, they're just getting set up right now. This starts in a couple hours here, and it's a big deal because it's been shut down for two years due to the pandemic. But as you mentioned, this is the oldest uh, festival here in South King County, nearly 50 years old here in Kent. We're joined by Randy Shardman, one of the organizers here. And how excited are you to have, have this back after a two year hiatus? This is amazing. This is one of the best activities in all of Kent and everyone looks forward to it. And people have been calling us for the last two years. Are you on, are you coming back? And what's, what's the scoop? And so we are back. You're back and, and we, excited. And this is a free event. Yep. And there's a lot of activities. Obviously we've got a street fair going on here. You got vendors. We got food over here in the library parking lot. We're looking at some of the activities here or some of the people that are going to come out and perform as well. Uh, but what can we expect like today, Saturday and Sunday? You got big events as well, right? Right. So for today, um, the focus point is going to be on all of our vendors. We have over 170 vendors. We have over 20 food booths. We have a kids zone, totally free. Everything is totally free except for your purchases, um, it's gone. So um, tomorrow we have the Dragon Boat races. We have um, teams from up and down the West Coast. We have Canadian, we have Washington, Oregon, California teams. And tell me where that's gonna take place. That's, that's gonna good. be up at Lake Meridian. Gotcha. gotcha. And um, it's amazing. Um, we've got Mount Rainier in the background. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend. And then on Sunday, the parade. Right. So we have what we call our Grand Parade. We have over 700 participants in it. We have um, we have the ho dancing horses. We have the Seafair Pirates. We've got several bands. We have a band from Kansas. We've got drill teams. We've got all local um, schools. And it's just amazing. And everybody is glad to be out. We are anticipating about 100,000 people this weekend wow. over three days. Yeah. I know a so, lot of people looking forward to it. Randy, thanks so much. Thank and you. One thing to tell you, though, if you're coming around here, some of these streets downtown, Harrison here, 2nd Avenue, Meeker Street, they are going to be shut off, but uh, that's so that they can have these festivities. And it's great to see this coming back. A couple weeks ago, we were at the Brewers Festival out in Marymore Park. They had been on hold for two years. Uh, we finally had the fireworks again at Gasworks Park. So things getting back to normal. And in one, one of the great ways to do that is to come to the Kent Cornucopia uh, Festival starting in just a couple hours here in Kent. Guys, we'll send it back to you.